Tasmanian devil can outspin her. Communications director at Never Back Down Pac, Erin Perini. She's precocious, ferocious, and in the early stages of osteoporosis. New York Times best-selling author and Fox News yes. contributor, Cat Tim. And uh, whatever you want to do, be trans, don't be trans, cut whatever you want off. Taken that being trans is the least problematic thing about this. <laughs> right, yeah. I mean, it's, she's crazy and she's a... Absolutely. I think that that's completely legitimate. I don't think that this is the best way to get a message across. And it doesn't have anything to do with her being trans. It has to do with the incredibly odd rhetoric she continues to use today because he wouldn't have ceded power for the Russians to go in against Ukraine. That was yes. <laughs> I think it's also, I think it's, so it is entirely possible that Zelensky had no idea this was happening. But I had no idea that was happening is also what I say. I say when I'm called on not talking about something that I didn't want to talk about. <laughs> Much like the Canadian teacher with giant boobs. Do you, right? You can't look at this and shame the sex workers. No, it's They're not. They're providing something. They're adding to the economy. The UN is just, they don't do anything. They just said they get paid to go to lunch. Yo. and feel important. Lunch is a good point because it's kind of the same hypocrisy in their country. Good for the sex workers, bad for us. You no, know, speaking of sex work, Chris, you were camera. I have never, <laughs> and uh, whatever, you know? <laughs> doing it for us. Yes. I was doing it for our country to keep us safe. That's how I was on the stool at one point. Yeah, I guess if you could, you could call it a report. I was a reporter. You I were, was a barstool sports you went reporter. To <laughs> but see, he's really doing it. Yeah. So we didn't get a chance, you know. It looks like when you were prepared, and he brought receipts, like it was a real housewives reunion, and he was yeah. ready to read her on it. It was fantastic. So what, unfortunately, he's mimicked what her, her hat. Why? Save the money. Put it towards what the, the cause. Mm -hmm. So this dude, right? yes. oh, whatever. he's literally running around trying to get. I um, didn't say that at all. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Again, it, right? just, we are all over. On my phone, recording. Oh, I definitely did not say that. Uh, in the vote of jerk or super jerk, this guy's a super jerk. Yeah. You completely lie about having cancer to go play poker, and then he loses in, like, the first round anyways, so he's not even a good right. poker player. And then he, he actually made 30 grand from this page. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is good true. Point. That That's is what true. To be a good wife. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to nag him all the time. I'm going to talk about him that he does not hear. Right, right. Right. That is healthy. Mm -hmm. I, I actually, I mean, I totally agree. You do need more than uh, your best friend to be your spouse. This isn't middle school where you can only have one best friend. You should, be like, like the person you're married to and want to spend time with them. But I also think you do need another best friend that you can just absolutely tell them exactly how you feel in the moment you feel it. Because you can't always probably be completely blunt and honest. Wow. Yeah, you know. Happens. I'm, yeah. A, I'm an idiot. No, uh, yeah. I'm for that because you both have something in common. You're married to a man who's fine with you having friendship is so good. Like there is no he hasn't even left the house yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. You're, yeah, you're not. Yeah, no, no. It's I, making me so much anxiety. Yeah. See the difference? Dude, see they're married. An exit question. If your wife <laughs>